Earlier, Michelle spoke with Kevin Kelly, author of The Inevitable, Understanding the 12 Technological Forces That Will Shape Our Future. In the book, you explain the changes that we can expect to see mm -hmm. in 30 years. Tell me about some of those changes. We're going to be confronting ubiquitous, pervasive artificial smartness. Mm -hmm. We'll have VR at our disposal by putting on little glasses. We're going to have total tracking of our lives. We probably will charge for our attention to watch an ad or read an advertisement. Those are all going to be coming. You know, it's pretty amazing um, the steps the Internet has taken in just the last 10 years. But you say this is only the beginning. I think to look back at this year, 2016, and say you didn't even have the Internet oh, compared to what we're going to go to. So what can we expect? I think the Internet is going to be more like a conversation than a place that we go to. It'll be this presence that are all, is always there, that you're kind of asking questions for, getting experiences. And it'll be less a, a place that you go to and more something you feel. And so you say AI, it's artificial intelligence. Explain to us what exactly that is. We think of uh, AI as kind of the things we see in movies as kind of almost artificial people, but most of this is going to be artificial smartness that will think differently than we do. Your calculator is smarter than you are in arithmetic. You're not, really, you're not freaked out by that. And we'll make these artificial smartnesses that are smarter than us in certain dimensions, like the auto-driven cars that Google and people are making, those AIs, the whole point of them is they're not like humans. They don't drive like us. Sure. They're, they're not worried about whether they left the stove on. They're just driving. And, of course, in Silicon Valley, we're very interested in this. This is, yeah. you know, this is the area um, that we're very interested in. And so you think a lot of companies, the business plans, they're just going to add AI to their business plans. Exactly. It's sort of like the second industrial revolution when we had artificial power. And you could take anything, like a manual pump, and add electricity to it, and then it was a new thing. It automated your factory or your homestead or your farm. Now we're going to take the same things and we're going to add AI that we get from the grid. We just buy, like electricity, mm -hmm. and we can add it to what we're doing. And now we have this smart thing. It'll be a whole other revolution, like the Industrial Revolution. Okay, so this is a little scary when I'm thinking about this, but you say this is a good thing. It is overall a good thing. There are going to be a lot of jobs and roles that are lost. Yeah. A lot of the people driving trucks, of course, won't be driving trucks in 20 years from now, but there will be entirely new jobs that we create from this new technology. But there are some bad things that it can bring up too. Absolutely, there has not been a technology we've ever invented that we haven't weaponized mm -hmm. or could weaponize. And AI will be weaponized by the military and other things, and these are going to be big issues for us. So I think of the movie Minority Report yeah. when we talk about this, right? Tell me about your your. So I worked on the Minority Report with a bunch of other futurists trying to develop the world 2050 for Steven Spielberg when he was filming that. And we had all kinds of ideas about you would stand up and interact with your computers with your gestures, that you would maybe running through the mall, that the ads would actually kind of follow you, the personalized ads would kind of track you as it went through. And some of those things are already happening. Yeah, I remember a scene where Tom Cruise goes into the mall right. and I think it's, it's a gap ad that tracks what exactly. he last purchased. Well, that's happening on the web right now. Mm -hmm. If you go onto the web, they're kind of tracking you as you go across the web, these ads. And so some of those um, ideas about the future, the fact that we would um, conduct the data, that maybe people would um, have these um, virtual holograms in their living room to relive mem memories, those are only 10 years away right now. Wow. Okay, so what about the people like myself who say, no, I don't know, that's just a little too much, the technology. We're going to have to adopt this, right? I think what I'm preaching is that you want to embrace the technology by embracing these big trends. This is the best way to steer it. We can't really manage technology by prohibiting it, turning it back, turning it off. We actually want to engage it as a way to steer it. And everything you say can become a screen, even clothes? Yes, they have <laughs> prototypes where you have this living screen and you swipe on your arm like you would swipe on an iPad. Okay, and you would actually wear that. Yes. So what does this do for us? Does this just make things more convenient for us? Does it just... We get choices. We keep getting more and more choices with technology. If you don't want to wear electric clothing, you can still wear the cotton. You still have that choice. But if you were interested in sort of um, using this as a way to... to um, have your body talk to yourself as a way of having the clothes actually give you better posture, which is what it can do, the smart clothing. 
sure. Then, then you'll choose that. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. And keyboards, they'll be a thing of the past? Yes, I think the gestures are going to be conversation and sign language. And so this means that somebody's working on their computer. <laughs> Very interesting. All right. We'll see you in what, about 30 years? Yeah, come back. Okay, we'll do that. All righty. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're very welcome. And thank you, Michelle and Kevin. For more information about the inevitable, log on to kk.org. That's kk.org. Coming up, an organization keeping traditional cultures alive through music and dance. We'll be right back.